Hello comrades, Kamisa Bro here today with Making History 2. Yes, I know I picked Japan, but I'm like, eh, I don't feel like doing Japan right now. Japan, I will do in, in a different game, methinks. So, one another country that's been heavily requested is Bulgaria. And I figure, hey, Bulgaria is a small country and undoubtedly will be incredibly difficult to play with. So... Here we are, with Bulgaria. We're going to give this a try. This is going to fail miserably, if I uh, am correct. However, I think it'll be interesting to give it a shot, don't you? Yes, yes. So we're going to start out by, obviously, we need resources. More mines, as it were. Because we don't have many to really choose from, anyway. However, we also need food and manpower is clearly going to be our biggest issue. Um, I would imagine taking over Romania would be a good idea if we had the military power to do it, which we do not. The Bulgarian army is incredibly minimal at best, and we don't really have anything to build anything different. <laughs> so this is going to be pretty terrible, all things considered. All things considered, even with the low manpower, we're going to have trouble even becoming economically viable. So we're basically going to be slamming the end turn button a lot, ladies and gentlemen, undoubtedly. But we don't have any major deficits. We're actually making positive in just about everything, aside from arms. And, yeah, we're making positive in everything else. So, thankfully, we're making enough to survive. <laughs> so that's a good thing there, right? Right. Um, and we'll just have to try to make this work as best as we can. And that's what we'll do. So we're building a cottage factory in Sofia. No, we're upgrading to a mechanized factory in Plovdiv. And we're basically just going to be in in our turn and building up our manpower as best we can. The more manpower we get, the more projects we can take part in, the more units we can build, so on and so forth. We are at a major disadvantage of, say, like Romania. Romania is actually a country I would prefer to play as uh, with Making History 2 because it has enough capability to become a greater power. Bulgaria in a lot of games, especially like Making History, is very... Uh, limited and all things considered so you know that's that's one thing you need to be very careful about uh, we are authoritarian so yeah we're, we're fine we're fine I mean all you know if you actually really consider it for, to the rest of the world Bulgaria is not that bad um, it's just the fact that they are uh, basically I guess you would say inhibited compared to because they're just small really is what it is it's small and the provinces you have look we have three provinces that don't produce any resources at all. So that's no bueno for our part as far as it's concerned. But because we are making positive in pretty much everything, that's not too bad of a thing. We just have to make sure um, that we build what we need, which is going to be factories. We need more factories. But at the same time, over-industrialization could be the death of our nation this early on. So that's something we have to be very careful about as well. We have to make sure to play it safe, ladies and gents, play it safe. But I am going to set this up to build a cottage factory. We're going to need some supplies. Obviously, it would be manpower. <laughs> Again, being a small nation is kind of inhibiting in that, in that regard. It'd be nice if you could, like, up immigration rates or stuff like that. That would be interesting. Yeah, I doubt they would ever put that in the game, though. Uh, to, like, just, I don't know, find ways to increase population. You know, if you had incentives, sort of like Hearts of Iron, uh, to do things, and, oh, I just realized we are negative money. Oh. No bueno. <laughs> Alright, so what we'll do is, when we finish this cottage factory over here, we are going to start making positive cash flow with that. Alright. So, five more turns. And I'm just going to kind of skip ahead so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me click the fucking end turn button. Alright, so we are now at the 100 turn of the game. 
again, Bulgaria is very slow going. <laughs> Incredibly slow going. Um, we're trying to manage our money, our resources, as you, as you can see, are still pretty damn solid. However, because we are increasing our uh, our uh, what was straight thought our industry, we're getting less food. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to start focusing some of our manpower on food to make sure that we don't go into deficits on food and that we can sell excess uh, food as revenue. As you can see here, food revenue. That's right. So yeah, basically that's what we're doing, and I'm just kind of slapping the intern button here and doing my thing. <laughs> Again, Bulgaria is very, based on the mechanics of the game, Bulgaria is a tough country to play as uh, in terms of trying to keep up with everybody else. So that is something you need to keep in mind if this is a country that you actually want to try out and play as in, you know, making history too. Uh, I think it's probably easier to play as Bulgaria in the Great War. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on that. But I do believe that is the case. Um, or even making history... I don't know, making history gold, is, again, you still run into the same issues because they're just... They're so small and they don't really have like the industrial potential of Romania or hell, even fucking Yugoslavia over here has a pretty decent power base to start out with because they've got one, two, three, four, five cities, uh, two metal and two coal. So with that in mind, even though we have two we have two coal and one metal, we've only got three cities. So those three cities is a is a very big hamper on us. So like Greece would be a tough country to play as. But Greece already has a military. So if you were playing as Greece, hypothetically you could go to war with Bulgaria and just take their stuff. If we were more powerful, we could go to war with Yugoslavia. They have a culture that would benefit us, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think because, like, Bulgaria has Slavic. Yeah, see, their state culture is Slav Slavic. So, you know, it's it's one thing you would I, I would keep in mind if I was playing one of those guys. Um, another good country to play as while I'm sitting here just kind of not doing anything might be Spain. Spain, assuming you survived the Civil War... Uh, would probably be a good one. Again, minor countries. Egypt might be kind of fun. Then again, you are pretty much uh, Great Britain's bitch at the time, <laughs> which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is at the time. But anyway, so I'm just going to keep ending the turns here, and uh, we're going to see what happens. All right, so we are now at the 200th turn. Again, slow moving. However, we have a shit ton of money. Um, we're building up our industrial output and that's about it <laughs> what I'm also doing is to get us additional research is I'm stealing research from the Russians that's right they hate us anyway and more than likely we're gonna end up at war with them so might as well take advantage of the situation now however it should be said that China and Italy have created an alliance we're in really good terms with them so we're gonna try to get in their alliance and they see no reason to ally with us Hmm. Whatever, fuck you to Japan. Up your dirty butthole. <laughs> we don't care anyway, because we're Bulgaria, and by God, we'll make it work. That's right. As you can see, I'm actually increasing the industry here in uh, Sofia right now as well. I just wish, God, I wish that we had more manpower. If we had manpower, let me tell you, we would have this in the bag, ladies and gentlemen definitely have it in the bag but unfortunately we don't so we don't <laughs> uh, uh, for shame for shame however if we manage to pull Bulgaria from being as small uh, as it is and actually tend make something out of it I'm going to be wildly impressed because again I don't think I've ever played with Bulgaria successfully so this will be this will make for an interesting series um yeah yeah and it, it seems like a lot of it is going to really be behind the scenes because again there's not much going on and i'm not here to bore you so <laughs> with me just like i said spamming the intern button so um oh yeah we can build a university good we need that whenever we get a hundred people oh sweet jesus it's going to take another like fucking ten turns 
to get that roughly eight to ten turns to get what we need for shame for shame whatever we're getting a medical center in Sofia so now that we're getting a medical center that means we're gonna have even more manpower growth albeit it's still gonna be a rather small number it's nothing spectacular by any means of the imagination however we're also getting some serious research done uh, thank like I said because we're stealing so much stuff from the Russians we're actually coming out of this uh, not so badly, not so badly in the research department, which we, we fell behind considerably not too long ago. I think we were like the 59th country, most technologically advanced country, so that's fucking terrible. Um, right now, we're pretty much in the dead center. We've uh, we've fallen from grace a bit, but that's all right. Don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll get it together and, you know, build up as time goes on. We have a couple things we need to research here. Um, yeah, pretty much, well, just Alpine Warfare, it seems like, is the only one we need right this moment. We are building a university, uh, in Varna, so when we do that, that'll give us more research points so we can steal less from the Russians. Um, see, we just keep getting detected. <laughs> as long as we don't piss them off to where they declare war on us, we're fine. We're fine. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we can make a series out of this. I don't... I don't know if we'll be able to. Like I said, it is very, very slow going. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, normally, we have a little bit more fast-paced stuff going on here. But uh, it looks like with this one, it's not going to be that way. But, uh, you know, I'll do my best to <laughs> make it as entertaining as humanly possible. Uh, yes, that's right. But anyway, this has been Kamisabro. And I will see you all next time.